Today, I'm roaming around town, finding every store that has these mobility scooters, and I'm gonna test them to see which one's best. And we're starting out at Walmart. The very first test that we're gonna do is to see how fast these go. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to cross over two average size parking lots. And I'm gonna start it off by using the good old horn. It's gonna be three beeps to go, and then it's flat out. And we're off. Let's see what the timer says. And we're gonna count it only after the back end is crossed over. The next test is comfortability. Let's see how it feels over bumps. Let's see how cushiony the butt is. I mean, it's a little hard as all of them are. They're not really good for pressure sensitive sores and areas. I'm also testing a little bit of the agility. Uh, these things are trikes. They're all on three wheels and they all have their own kind of unique turn radius. Now, the one thing that gets me the most about these turn radius and I think a lot of disabled people feel about these carts is when we get ourselves stuck in a predicament, the only way to get out of it is to reverse and listen to how embarrassing this sound is. I'm a human being not a dump truck. For this particular Walmart, they do have one of the nicer ones that I've seen. It seems to be well maintained. It was fully charged and it actually has like a digital like a read off thing on it, which is kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Gonna do one more little agility test going towards the camera so you can kind of see. And then we'll do a completely full, this is at full tilt. This is at full 90 degrees. This is the reason why they make them uh, the trikes because if they were four wheeled vehicles, this definitely would not be possible. All right, on to the next door. We at Target now. And this appears to be the exact same thing that Walmart had only in red and a generation earlier because it doesn't have the little fancy screen. So let's go ahead do our little speed test, do our horn test, agility test, and embarrassment test. Ooh, it says I'm too far away from the store. That's funny, I didn't know that I stopped being disabled once I left the store. Shockingly, this, this one seems to be a little bit peppier than the other one. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna flip a quick Yui on this one. Still has a good turn radius. Gonna do a little bit of agility testing. I mean, it basically feels like the same thing. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's got the same sounds. It's got the same behavior. I mean, here's here's gonna be a full 90 degree tilt on it where I just need to turn around an aisle. Whoop! Just gonna spin around an aisle. Hopefully the next doors we go to will have more options other than just this Amigo brand. Uh, Target did have one inside that looked like a combination of a bumper car and a tank but it was dead and I didn't want to cause any trouble. Okay, on to the next door. You know, the hardest part about today's video is the fact that I have to park in like the way back of the parking lot and walk all the way to the front of the store, <laughs> to the front of the store to grab the cart. And then after I drop it off, I have to come all the way back so hit the subscribe for the effort, hit the like. If you wanna know the backstory of how this video idea even got started, click the link in the description, it's kinda interesting. See you there. Uh, hey Costco, the fuck is this? Are you serious right now? As to add insult to injury, you're gonna treat us like fucking children who need a flag? And again, also, is there only one company that makes these things? It's just this Amigo brand. Like this one is an XL. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones cause Costco, I guess. But it's the exact same thing. I'm not even gonna review this one. It's insulting, seriously. We are at a Sprouts, which is kind of a boutique store. So I would expect it to be one of the better ones. And it actually is, but because it's older than me. Like this thing is made out of steel and concrete and has massive World War II vibes written all over it. Um, even the gearing, the way that the, the gears kind of turn. So um, 
you know, if you are an entrepreneur that understands the mobility space, there is a massive opportunity here because all of these suck. My points of measurement are off on this one because obviously I'm not aligned with the parking spaces the way I was before, but three beeps go and let's check out its acceleration. A little bit of a delay there, but honestly feels good, not gonna lie. And you can tell that there's a bit of a power cut in it. This one also has that 90 degree. Oh yeah, but that's where it struggles. And we got ambulance noise so loud. So I'm gonna have to be even louder. But as far as like agility goes, like it's actually not too decent. Like I just like, I like how tough this one feels. Like this one has, has tank energy to it because the other ones just really felt like just uh, the sloppy, 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 sloppy piece of crap. But yeah, um, even though this is one of the oldest, uh, it's probably the best. And seriously, if you're an entrepreneur and you wanna make fat stacks, make a new one of these and sell it to every grocery store in the nation. Forgot to test its embarrassment factor. Dump truck coming back, beep, beep. Not a human being, a piece of heavy operating equipment. Be careful. I'm going 0.5 miles an hour. I might run over you or your child. Careful, I'm a hazard. Our final stop is at Trader Joe's. And this one is just a newer version of the one that we had at Sprouts. And honestly, this is gonna be my last stop because it's a Friday afternoon and this parking lot's starting to get sketchy. I will say, however, this one feels the most compact and has the quietest little horn and is the least embarrassing when it comes to reversing. Listen to this. I do not feel like a heavy operating equipment. Listen, listen. So pleasant. Just a little doot. Little beep, beep, beep. Final conclusion, they all suck. Uh, be sure to bring your own wheelchair cushion or do weight shifts every 15 minutes instead of every 30 minutes. And try to go to Trader Joe's because at least you're not embarrassing there and you don't sound like heavy operating equipment or you don't look like a child like they make you look at Costco with the stupid little flag on the end of it. Subscribe, bye.